we're gonna cook turkey legs, right? So it's not your traditional way how you brine them, because that's how I do them, old school. Brine them, put your seasoning on there, and then throw them on the grill the following day. 24 hours is how I brine mine. But the wife had brought some turkey legs home. She knew I was fine up the grill this weekend, and she said, babe, I want this turkey today. So I was like, man. So I had to run to the store real quick. This is how you adapt, right? Walmart right up the street. Got me some uh, injection. Right? That's another way to keep meat from uh, drying out. Turkey is tur turkey is known for drying out. So you ever had a you ever had somebody that cooked the turkey for Thanksgiving? You got all good and dressed up in your, your finest clothes. You go over there and get a piece of that smoked turkey and it's dry as hell. Yeah. Actually it happened to me. Actually, let me tell you a story real quick, right? My mother-in-law, before she was my mother-in-law. I'm going to whoop your whole ass. Hey, this is my wife. Hey, my wife going to beat my ass after this and tell my mother-in-law. But I'm going to tell y'all. Anyway, so, right, she hyped me up. Yeah, baby, I got a plate for you. This Thanksgiving, I'm in high school. I'm like, shoot, hell yeah, I'm coming to get me a plate. Give me some of that good cranberry um, sauce with the greens and the, the, the dressing. So turkey and ham, you can't beat that on Thanksgiving as a kid, right? So I get over there. It's down turkey dry as hell. <laughs> I don't know what I say dry. You could even put no hot sauce to make that motherfucker uh, 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 legit. Right? And we all know hot sauce cover everything. <clears throat> but anyway, right, I know she's going to kill me when she see this. But I will say in her defense. Your wife going to kill you now. <laughs> in her defense, right, she is probably one of the best cooks I have ever seen. Um, ever. Hands down. Like. Rewind. Grits. Huh? Rewind. Why? My mama, the best cook you ever met. Yeah, minus that turkey. <laughs> anyway, right, I'm going to get an argument with my wife because I need her to film my videos. But she has since then recovered. Keep in mind, that was like 20 something years ago, right? So I still, at Thanksgiving, remind her every now and then, right? But. We don't smoke turkeys. I'm like, we fry them so she get a pass, right? <laughs> uh, I guess I'll be smoking the turkeys from now on, I guess. But anyway, love you, Ma. We're going to get to it, right? So we're going to go in this kitchen and dock up these doggone turkey legs and get to it before I get choked by my wife. Follow me in the kitchen, y'all. All right, YouTube, we back. And like I said, today's cook is some turkey drumsticks. Let me get a close look at this. Just so you can see. Standard. All right. Normally I brine these uh, maybe 24 hours prior. But since I decided I want them in this game day, figure out I'll just go ahead and inject them. All right. So the injection I am using today, if you ever wonder what hickory barbecue sauce is, I mean, a barbecue injection is good for, shake it up. It is good for turkey legs, right? And to coat the outside, I don't really eat the skin, but I'm coating the outside and probably rub it up under the skin. This stuff from John Henry's, shout out to them guys, cause uh, uh, old school, he uh, put his thing into these uh, seasonings. It's called Summer Peach. Give it a mild flavor. I do have some uh, hickory seasoning, but I don't want the entire turkey leg to just taste like hickory. I just want a hint of it. You know, any injection, and then you know to bring it out with some of this summer peach. Um, so be on the lookout for some more John Henry seasoning that I might use. Um, they got one called uh, pecan or pecan rub. Oh my goodness, man, that go good on everything. Man, I might have to go buy some now that I think about it. But anyway, like I said, uh, we'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and take these turkey legs out, clean them up, and then inject them. And then uh, we're going to go from there, season the outside, and then I'm going to come back and uh, show you. I'm going to put them on my big Shirley Fab and let them run for about, I don't know, five to six hours. Um, and we'll talk about how I do that. Be back in a minute, y'all. All right, ladies and gents, we back. I finally injected them, put a little seasoning on the outside. Um, here's a tip for you. Keep this in mind, right? I put, you about probably wondering why I got them upside down. Uh, with the with the, the bottom of the uh, the leg stick it up so what I did was when I inject them I inject them downward right down into the meat 
So I got them upside down so that the the uh, injection drains to the bottom so that I got a fully completed, because you might miss a spot when you're injecting it, but if you turn them at certain angles, um, like especially like if you're injecting something and you want to leave it in there 24 hours, you got to rotate it. You know what I mean? So this keeps me from having to rotate, uh, so to speak, because I'm turning them upside down. So I inject at the top. Uh, still hit the bottom and stuff like that, but I let the injection flow downward um, to get through out the meat. So if you ever got time, try that and let me know. Comment below and tell me how that works out for you. All right, I'm going to put these in the refrigerator for about two hours. I'm going to go fire up my uh, Shirley Fab. Um, I got something else I'm putting out there. I don't know what yet, but uh, probably some sausage or something just to mess around. But like I said, comment below and let me know what you think about um, if you try this method and tell me how your product turns out or whatever. I'll see y'all in a little bit outside to put these things on the smoker. Holla. What's up, YouTubers? We back. Got these wonderful turkey legs. Turkey legs. We about to get down today, right? So I'm going to put them in my smoker in the uh, the box. The, the warmer box, as they call it. Why they call it a warmer box? I don't know. You can cook on it. You can fluctuate your temps if you have a well-built one. This is made out of quarter-year steel, a.k.a. from Shirley Fab. Shout out to them guys. Um, doing an awesome jam-up job. You'll be getting some more work from me in the future. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put these in because I want them to cook for an extended period of time. And remember now, these are injected. I normally brine my turkey legs. But since the wifey wanted them last minute, or I can say it was last minute for me, uh, I just inject them to keep it from drying out. And we'll go on the, eh, let's go on the bottom rack. Just because I can manage my temp better that way. Suck it up. And I know she, she actually filming right now. And she giving me that look because I got one of her pots from the kitchen. That's an old pot, but hey, you know how old pots, she got a little crack in it. That's one of the favorite pots. But she giving me that look now. Because I'm using her pot instead of one of the actual barbecue pots that I, I purchased a while back. So I'm going to hurry up and get off this video and go ahead and wash her pot. Because she's going to wash me until it's done. So, fellas, comment, you know what, comment below. If you have a wife or a significant other, whoever that is, right, that trips on you because you use their pots for barbecue. Let me know. Comment below so we can get a good laugh out of it in the, uh, the backyard barbecue uh, community. Um, I'm going to let these sit on there and just go. Just go, go, go. I'm going to baste them with butter, uh, obviously melted butter, and some seasoning mixed up. I'm going to baste them at about hour three. So I'm just going to let them set it and forget it. As long as I manage my temps and my Shirley fab. Let's get a look at this real quick. Got my good fire going. The cold bed is pretty good, you know, because I use charcoal to set that up. And now I'm going to uh, kick off with wood, and then we're going to ride from now. All day long. Watching football on Saturday. Go Gators. Be back in a little bit, y'all. Peace. What's up, YouTube? Hey, man. Team lost today. Actually getting their ass drugged right now by Tennessee. But anyway, go Gators still. Alright. So, talking about these turkey legs. Come on over here and let's see what we looking at. I might as well enjoy a meal here. My team got their ass whooped. Ooh, you see that juice dropping? Look at that. Juice dropping. Drawing up off the bone. You see them. You see them. Let me stop playing before they want to fall on the ground. You know we don't play that right here. So I'm going to let it ride for another hour or two, man. And then we're going to snack. Oh. Nah, I ain't going to show you. Step out for another video for that one. I ain't going to show you my little secret I just had now. Anyway. We'll be back in a little bit. I'll let you boy. All right, YouTube. We back. Got the turkey legs off real quick. Uh, last hour. So the last hour, you want to cover them up so they can tenderize. So what I'm going to do now is put aluminum foil on them and throw them back in the smoker for about an hour. And then uh, I'm going to let you see what it looked like after that. All right. Be back in a little bit. What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Mr. B. Backyard barbecue. We back. Dog his heck out here. 
right? But these turkey legs still going. It's time to pull them off. I'm going to show you the final product. I'm going to just pull one of them out. Ooh, look at that. Silky smooth. I'm going to take these on in the house. And then I'm going to give you a, a look at them. A close up with some light on them. All right? Be back in a minute. All right, YouTube. We back in the house now. I'm curious to know what these turkey legs look like. Maybe I should screen this before I actually uh <laughs> post this video. But anyway, we do this live, man. This is just like backyard barbecuing. Sometimes you mess up, sometimes you don't. Ooh, that's hot. That's uh... Ooh, you see that little smoke coming up? Unless you know they hot. Let me do my pool test just to see what kind of. Let's see here. Look at that. See how juicy that is? Mm hmm. I'm going to take me a piece right now. This is mine right here. God damn. Yo. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Anyway, this is Mr. B. I'm going to close this up, y'all. Gotta close it up, let it rest. This is Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Holla at your boy. Peace.